Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter, and today I've got an awesome camper for you. It is the new and improved inside and outside 2023 Salem 36 VBDS. This is my face. Again, my name is Hunter. And if you guys are in the market, I am in a sales position here at RV Nation out in Ohio. And this place is no joke. We have a ton of inventory right now, about 324 pieces. So if you guys are in the market, you know, I would love to be the one uh, that, you know, hopefully earns your business, you know, at least a shot at it. I genuinely think we're one of the best dealerships to purchase from because of price and service. I mean, you know, not many places have the facilities, you know, just like this. But my contact information is down in the description. And of course, if you gain any uh, value out of this video, and if it helps you out in any way, if you would consider hitting that like and subscribe button, I would appreciate it. But back to the camper, the 2023 Salem 36 VBDS. And what I like most about this camper is one, the 2023 version got a whole new makeover. Outside, you're gonna see it is nice and light. It's that white color, hopefully beaming off some of those sun rays keeping it cool. But what I like about most is the versatility of the other side of this camper. So on this side, you got a super slide and then a smaller slide in the back down there for that, you know, kind of that spare bedroom, that second bedroom. But on the other side, you're going to see that there is, there's no slides. So while this camper, you know, only has two slides, I liked where they put them and it really opens up the middle room. It opens up that back bunk room, but then it also allows you to have all this space you know, for activities when you're at the campground, which is, you know, the most important side, I think. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna take you on about 15, 20 minutes, you know, 10 to 15 there on the inside, five minutes on the outside, showing you some things that I think are pretty cool about this camper. If you guys are looking for information, you know, specifications, things like length, width, awning size, all that stuff that I'm just not smart enough to remember, that will be down in the description of the camper. Um, so yeah, yeah, and I'll also put in a link there to the manufacturer website for even more information. But uh, again, 2023 Salem 36 VBDS, and I think you guys are genuinely going to like it. So like I said, 2023 changes. Um, you got this, the white exterior with the blue decals. Before it was gray, actually, there's a Salem cruise light, but it looks similar enough. I zoomed in there, you can see, you know, just kind of, uh, just kind of a dated look, you know, it's just... Everyone's going light and bright. You know, I think it looks a little bit cleaner, a little sharper. They had a big makeover on the floor. So this is their new flooring decor. You know, kind of that square look. Um, I think it looks really sharp. Salem's the only one doing this right now. You know, and I love it. And the other, you know, major improvement is to the cabinets. They really lightened them up and it just kind of gets with the modern times now. So that's another big bonus. Um, but this camper... You know, primarily used as a bunk model. So I'm going to start in the back, but this kind of gives you a good view of, you know, what we're uh, what we're dealing with. Or I'm sorry, I've been misspeaking. That slide is for the bedroom, uh, the main bedroom in the back. So the bunk is up front. So I'm going to start up here. That's another change there too, that fireplace. So you kind of see it's got kind of a mirrored look here in a little bit. I will shut that off and show you, but it's got a mirrored finish, three different color settings, uh, blue, white, and then like an orange. So that's pretty neat as well. So this back, or this front bunk room, geez, oh, Pete's usually the bunks are in the back, so I'm just programmed to say it. But this bunk is in the front. Uh, right off the bat, it's pretty nice just because it has a pocket door. You know, that alone is just kind of a rarity in the RV industry. You know, and it just makes things, you know, look a little bit nicer, you know, a little bit sharper, a little bit more cleaner, you know, kind of when you're, you're putting it up. And then you're also going to see it right here. That's a little magnet. So it magnetic latches right to this little metal you know, whatever you want to call it, a little metal plate. But so this is the bunk room. This is kind of the breadwinner of this floor plan. You can make it um, two full beds. Basically, all you do is just pull this out, you know, and you uh, basically just flip it like this. And then you drop down that mattress right there to make, you know, a full-size bed. Not nearly, not, 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 jeez, oh, Pete's, what a day. Not quite a queen. Uh, but darn near close to it, you know, just judging by appearances. But we'll flip that up. And this is sitting there in couch mode. So you got couch mode. You got lots of room to kind of move around here on a rainy day. You got a place right over here where you can put a TV. There's also a window which doubles as the emergency exit just in case you need to get out in a hurry. Outlet and then an area for your cable and satellite. 
Two USB ports right here so the little ones can charge their devices. Two more USBs so they can charge their devices over here, along with another window. So you can get a really nice cross breeze, a lot of natural lighting in this, you know, and you're good to go. All right, so this top part, this is in sleeping mode. So it's sitting there, you know, twin bunk beds, nothing too special to it. Uh, you know, kind of is what it is, like every other camper. But one thing I do like is they add to the versatility by being able to lift these up and down. So you lift that up, and that is on a strut, so it holds up right there. And then right over here, you can move that up as well. So that way when you're in couch mode, when you're in movie and video game mode, rainy day mode, you know, you're good to go. It kind of adds to the, uh, to the usable space of the camper. Right here, you got a little bit of countertop space. A couple outlets inside this cubby, which is actually pretty good as far as the depth. I'm six feet tall and got average size arms. You know, fits right in there. And then right here, you know, more storage space that they conveniently put, you know, these plastic totes in. So pretty nice bunk room right up, right up front. Now that brings us to the living room. And again, check out all the space that the this huge super slide allows you to have. Another thing that you get with the nice long slide is, you know, really nice size windows. So you have windows all throughout, so that way you can catch a good view. All of these have uh, the nightshade, which I have drawn. I'll put these two up for you so you can kind of see. But look how big those windows are. You know, that's a really nice feature to have. Also on the Salem, it's a Salem exclusive. It is a Versa Lounge. So right now you kind of got it in half dinette mode. So right here, you know, kind of the two-seater. You're also going to have some storage here underneath on both sides. You get those little plastic totes there again to keep things organized. And also, magnetic latch. And then the little plate. You know, so you're good. And that's going to be here and there. But uh, what you'll see is, you know, this dinette, you can either drop it down for sleeping by taking out those legs and make it one big sleeping area right here. But also... You have this portion right here, which is removable, and it's just sitting right in here, in that housing. And you can either flip it to right here into this metal housing to make a bigger dinette, or you can take it out altogether, lift up, and pull down to lay flat to make one extra large sleeping space again. So, you know, it really adds to the uses that you can have. And this feature is called the Versa Lounge, and for now, you know, it's Salem's baby. Salem's the only one can do it, but that is going to quickly change as everyone is going to want to mimic this, you know, for what they've been doing on for the last year. Uh, these lights right here are going to be clickers. So, real easy right there. And this is going to be kind of your, uh, you know, your living room entry space. You got the sliding glass door. That's why this is going to be designated uh, Destination RV. It still writes up titles as a travel trailer, but it's more of a Destination RV with the sliding glass doors. Tons of room. Again, that fireplace that I'd mentioned, and that's got the mirrored finish before. It's just a, you know, just a glass. But if you turn it off, you know, you can see, I mean, check that out. That's just a cool little feature to have. I mean, it looks just like a mirror. Then you turn it on, of course, you know, and you're good to go. You also have a little bit of storage right here and above. A place for a TV backer, which they put a little sticker. So it's got a little hard plate back there. Uh, your King Wi-Fi Connect is letting you know it's prepped for Wi-Fi extender and LTE booster. So hit up your AT&T, Verizon, all that good stuff. A couple outlets, and then this little guy. So that way you can put your wires down, you know, to connect your DVD player. Now you also have the Furion sound system in this. So if you're not familiar with Furion, uh, they're pretty much dominating the RV industry in all sorts of accessories, whether it be speakers, you know, refrigerators, ovens, you know, they're just really everywhere. But this is going to be your sound speaker or your sound system here for the interior. You have zone one and two, it's inside, outside, your aux cord, you know, a bunch of different buttons that you're used to, a USB port, and an HDMI. On the sliding glass door, you also have a little draw curtain there that you can put across, you know, kind of block out the sun and get a little bit of privacy. It's a dual AC unit. Here is one of them, and if you'd like to get a little bit extra, you know, AC in at this just this area, you open up that dump valve right there, and those actually run pretty quiet, and there's two dump valves, one right here, and then one on this side. Got yourself a dimmer switch, um, touch and hold, you know, to dim it down. So as you can see, it's getting a little lighter. Now starting to get a little bit brighter. 
But that's nice, that's new. Uh, you can also just do one touch and you're off, which is nice, so really convenient to have. And then, oh, forgot to turn on the accent lighting. So, you know, this looks uh, sharp, you know, at night, gives a nice little ambient glow, you know, to the room, so that way you can get a midnight snack back in that big boy residential refrigerator. This is for the main slide. The other slide is gonna be in the back room, which I'll show you here in a little bit. And then this is, go oh, I'm sorry, this one's for the slide. This one is for your awning. Also right here, you can check your battery levels, fresh tank, black tank, gray tank, all that with a click of a button. And then this right here is going to be your kitchen area. You know, where you get all the cooking done. You got a little bit of counter space. You got just enough to kind of get the job done. You have a um, two parts, two bowl sink right here. Uh, pretty good size to be quite honest with you and then you have this little drying rack doodad you know that flips out and gets moving and then you have a high-rise faucet that also detaches right here so that way you get all those dishes done hit them from all angles uh, right here's another little clicker light that i missed but you got another window another opportunity for you know letting in a breeze on a nice fall day we got fall coming up the best time of the year to be camping and then you have a couple more outlets to, you know, plug in everything. Maybe a crock pot. Last night we made some stew, made a little video of it. We're going to try a little couples RV channel or a couples uh, YouTube channel. I thought that would be fun. Regardless, even if we don't post anything, you know, it's kind of, uh, kind of nice for date night. But we made a little stew last night. Beef stew. Beef stew with veggies. Mm-mm. Scrum diddly umptious. Baby, if you're watching, I love you very much. Three stove top burner. You also have your graystone oven. Turn on the light right there. Good for a uh, good for a pizza or two. You know, make a little tray of cookies. Enjoy your trip a little bit. Graystone oven. You could probably put about you know four bags of popcorn in that bad boy. New to the windows, they put this little textured you know kind of edged glass feel to it. Getting fancy fancy. Nice little added touch. Uh, but then, you know, you got some shelving in here. You got some, some area where you can stuff some stuff. It also has a lip right there, which is about one knuckle, one knuckle deep. So that way things don't roll around, you know, and smack the back of this panel. The refrigerator on this is pretty darn impressive. It's going to be a Whirlpool. You know, we're all familiar with the name Whirlpool. And if you're not, you know, it's basically a high-end residential refrigerator, which is nice. I mean, check out the size of that. If you guys are camping for a weekend or even a week, you have plenty of opportunities to do so. I know most of you will probably pack this thing up with probably about 300 brewskis, some bacon, and some burgers, at least the people that I've gone camping with do. But uh, you got all the room to do it. Then you have a really nice big boy uh, freezer. What I like about these is obviously they go away from the traditional electric and uh, you know propane you know, refrigerator and actually keeps your frozen items frozen. It's a lot more of a refrigerator. It's an actual refrigerator. Plus it's a little safer when you're going through tunnels. Nice pantry right here, you know, to put some more food or maybe some, uh, you know, some towels or, you know, like, I don't know. Use the storage however you want to, I guess. Right here, control, you know, for your heat and AC. You can see it's a uh, 79 degrees in here. 79 degrees in here. Good luck. The only drawback to this camper that I think that you're going to find, and I'm sure if you look in the comments, you'll find a couple people that have already commented about it, is the uh, the bathroom being too close to the master. You know, kind of that shotgun style. People don't seem to like those all the time. But, uh, you know, I think it's great. I think it's a great floor plan. But one thing you do get with this style of bathroom is a lot of floor space. So you can actually, uh, you know, sit down and do your thing, and you're not clanging and banging your knees up against, uh, you know, the cabinet. You know, it's... Uh, just a nice feature to have. You can actually sit down and take a dump. So right here, more storage for more belongings. Right there, more storage for even more belongings. You also have some access to your plumbing. Good counter space around here. Big old bowl. Oh, there's water in here. I'll be done. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice new backsplash, that's new for the 2023s. And at this point, if you guys don't mind, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, I'd appreciate you. Let me show you the guns. Whew. Start bowling back up tomorrow, so that thing's gonna get cut. About to get toned up, pretty pumped. Didn't think I was gonna be bowling this year. 
The, uh, the 13-year-old is starting to play football, so I had to give up our Wednesday league so that way we could go to all those games. You know, you can't choose the can't choose bowling over the kiddos, but now switch on Rooney to the Tuesday league. Got in. Couldn't be more stoked about that. It's going to be a good time. Your boy loves to bowl. Big shower, and I do like how they kind of bowed this that you can see right here. Just gives for more space. Um, you know, inside the camper, making it not quite as cramped up. And then this, you know, just rolls out. You got your plastic little sheet. But, uh, yeah, nice feature to have there. And that brings us to the bedroom. And, again, this is going to be where the second slide is. Um, so that slide control is going to be right here. So in and out, along with your light switch. There's also another door dedicated just to this room, which I actually love that feature. Uh, new to Salem this year, too. They went away with the Queen. And upgraded to a king with the rounded corner. So it's going to be a camper king. But that allows you, you know, for more sleeping space. You're not quite as cramped up here. Really used all the space here in the slide, you know, in a really nice way. You also have two little countertops uh, right there and right there, you know, for some of your stuff. Two windows. So that way you have, you know, a nice cross breeze growing. And then in the corners, you have outlet and USB outlet and usbs so that's nice charge all your devices here in the back another big window so that way you can enjoy your views hopefully you're going somewhere nice and that opens up again to allow you know more of a breeze there's also a couple outlets right down there on the floor as well and then right here is another thing that i really love one you got yourself a closet you know with a shelf and plenty of room for some hanging items But then you got more storage right here, which you can use probably as like, you know, a little bit of a dresser. But then you have a couple outlets, counter space, another place for your cable, and then another area where you can put a TV. That way you can sit down, enjoy a movie after a long day of camping. But I think that about does the inside portion of this camper. Again, it's a 2023 Salem 36 VBDS. I hope you guys are liking this tour so far. Now, this is where it really speeds up the outside. Quite frankly, there's not too much to talk about on the outsides. And, uh, you know, most people don't watch past that point anyway. But I'll give you one more little look around ski in here. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, nice floor plan. It's a really good seller. It's a really good seller for sure, especially since there's, you know, kind of a bedroom in the front, bedroom in the back. They're separated. Um, you know, plus it sleeps, uh, sleeps a ton with that Versa lounge as well. Okay. So this is going to be the front of your camper. I guess we'll start up, we'll start up front here. Power tongue jack. Looks like this customer put on two batteries, your, uh, battery disconnect. But then right here, you have your manual jack with your JT strong arms. That's that yellow bar right there. That just adds more stability uh, you know, allowing you to do more things with the camper. So these are um, rated much higher than your traditional camper would be because of those JT strong arms. So that's a nice feature. It's actually more of a lifting jack. That's going to be the storage access from the outside. Uh, and that goes into that bunk room. Right here is your solar charge controller. That way you can see, or it's wired for solar. That's where you'd put your solar charge controller. Um, so if you ever do that, you know, you can put the charge controller right there. They're also held on by magnetic clips instead of those, um, you know, the cheap plastic ones. I enjoy that quite a bit. Big old awning with the LED lights there running underneath. Foldable steps on both front and back. This is going to be the back end of your water heater. This right here and right there are going to be your marine grade speakers there for your outside, otherwise known as zone two. Freshwater connection. And then your freshwater drain. Cable. Outlets. That way you can plug in a TV right here if you're sitting down chilling. It's going to be dual axle. Your other jacks are right back here. And that gives you a better view there of that JT strong arm. But you can see how it adds to extra stability there. And then on the back of this camper, you have a, um, a bumper with a spare tire. It also looks like they are going to add on 
the rear observation camera, which is a $550 add-on. Basically, suction cups onto the windshield of your, uh, of your car. That way you can see what's going on behind you along with some distance markers. It's prepped for the Lippert ladder. So you can, uh, you know, buy and just place that right in there. So that way you can get on top and, uh, you know, do all your maintenance. Why is that not zooming out? Uh, you know, you want to get up there about twice a year, you know, check all your seals, make sure everything's good. So that way, you know, you avoid a leak. And then also they went ahead and put on the slide toppers. Basically the slide topper is what you see right there. That's going to be that awning that's just for the slide. And that keeps, you know, rain and debris from falling on the top right there and then as you peel this in you know crunching into those seals creating a problem for you uh, each one of those is about seven hundred dollars a piece to install that's going to be your waste holding tank right there you know your valves you have your city water connection black tank flush if you're not familiar with that that's going to be a sprinkler system there you know for your uh for the uh, black tank But I think that about wraps it up. Again, this was the 2023 Salem 36 VBDS. My name is Hunter. Hope to see you around. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye.